Hello everybody, today we are going to put together a uh, retro chair step stool by Costco. Um, it's a stool that I remember my grandparents having, really liked it. Found one on Amazon and I uh, went ahead and ordered it. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up the box, let's lay out our parts and pieces and we'll get this thing going. Um, tool wise, the only thing you really need is either a drill or a uh, screwdriver Phillips head. All right, the box is all unpacked, and I took all the packaging, uh, plastic and paper and whatnot off of the parts and pieces. Uh, when you go through it, you should have two sides, a left and a right. That's your back rail, your top step. Uh, it's a little support rail. You have your middle step, and you have your seat, and you have a bag of hardware. Um, now, I always put my bag of hardware inside some type of bowl or cup, um, a dish, whatever, just to keep it all together. Otherwise, you're gonna lose it. There are different size screws in here along with lock washers and different styles and we'll go through which ones we need as we do uh, as we assemble the stool um, also has instructions uh, so i'm going to move these parts and pieces out of the way and we're going to start off with uh, one of the sides here all right so to start out we uh, start with the left leg and we put it so the screw holes are up um, the way you notice is the left the one with the majority of the holes in it is the rear of the uh, of the piece and so this is the left because this is the rear, you know, it just kind of works out that way. So the first piece we put on is this top stool. Um, you notice it does say Costco on there and you want that Costco to stay uh, to face forward. And so when you put it on there, just make sure, you know, double check, look on the back side that it's facing the right way. Now to save time, I already put my screws and lock washers together. All right, so I got the screw here. It's the shorter one with a little lock washer. We'll put it on my drill. I'm gonna line up the hole. And we're gonna screw it in. Now we're not making it tight. We wanna just give a little bit of room so that we can adjust things as we go. And then we'll come back through at the end and put it the rest of the way and make it tight. So we're gonna do this one as well. So again, it's a little loose, not crazy, but it's a little loose. And so that piece is on. So now we can move on to our next piece. The next piece is this little guy here that looks like an L. It's a little support bracket. So that goes on the rear right here. So again, take the shorter screw with the lock washer on there. I'm going to put it on my drill. Pull this into place. And screw it in so that it's somewhat tight. And then we'll get our, our next screw and washer. And we'll do the same on this one. So just a little snug, not, not crazy tight. Cause you, like I said, you want to be able to shift it around. So after that piece, we put on our bottom step. So the bottom step goes right in here. Now in this one, we do have a different size screw. So the first one is we want a long one and a medium one. So when you lay out your screws, you'll see that there is a longer screw here and the longer screw is gonna go on this side and make sure you get a lock washer with it. And you're gonna have a medium screw length which is this one here, which is gonna go on this side. So let me get that washer put on that one. All right, so I'm gonna start on the back here. And this one here, I'm just gonna start by hand. If you pick it up a little bit, you can guide it right in and you can start screwing it on until it's somewhat tight and that'll hold into place. Then you can come to this other side with your longer screw and you can line it up. The same thing, if you pick it up just a little bit, you can look in there and you can see where the hole is. And then, again, yeah, just a couple turns just to hold it in place and I'll use my drill and we'll get it knocked right down, a little loose and both sides. And so that that's in place.
So I'll turn the page on the, uh, the old directors here and we're gonna flip this over and put on the other side. So if we grab our other leg, put this out of the way, put this down, flip it over, and it goes right into place. Now this one you'll have to hold and kind of manhandle just a little bit, but it's the same, same basic process, just in, in reverse. Um, I don't think it really matters the order that you put this one together. Um, I'm gonna start with the bottom here because these are the harder ones to line up, at least from what I've found. Add that in that hole, give it a little turn, get our medium sized screw. Put it on this side. And line that one up. Get it started. We're gonna need four of the smaller screws. And just make sure you're using lock washers so it'll prevent those screws from loosening over time. So, and then same thing, we're gonna line these up. Now these, you do have to push, like this one here, I have to push it over to get it to line up. And I'm gonna take the drill and line that up. Same thing with this one. And make sure we're lined up in the pool. And then we'll do our top seat. Now this I do have to kind of pull, pull it. And then I got one more screw. Back here. We're gonna keep them loose and not tighten down so that there's still a little bit of flexibility in here uh, so it can move around. And once we get the next piece on, then we'll go back through and we'll tighten them all. So the next piece is our seat. So, move this camera a little bit. Now the seat goes right in here. And so those use a certain screw that looks like this. So it has kind of the pivot area on here, it's nice and smooth, and then it has a screw part. So if you put it through here, lift this up, slide it in, you can get it lined up. Then once you got it turned, grab the other one. You know, don't crank anything down yet. Line up that side. And now I'm gonna tighten them all down. So we'll go through all of the other screws now and tighten them up um, as much as you wanna watch me do that. I'm gonna go ahead and pause and do that and skip ahead. All right, so now we have our last piece to put on, which is this back rail piece. Um, basically we line these up with the holes that and we'll put the screw in through here so I'll hand tighten it on and the second one same, same thing kind of hand tightened and we'll do the same thing on the bottom here line it up I found sometimes you gotta use both hands, give it a pull, so kind of flex it in the spot. Not hard, but let's make sure you have a, a hand available. And then we'll do the same on this one. And then we'll screw them home. And then now these top ones.
So it's a beaut all together. Um, they are kind of nice. We keep them in the kitchen underneath our island so that we lift up where the step stool comes short, we'd get reach up the higher parts. Um, and then also doubles as a seat that we can put right under the island. So that is how you put together the Costco retro chair stool um, combination. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please put them in the comments below. Hit like and subscribe and we will see you later.